Hello everyone and welcome to EDGIS, the Elite Dangerous Galactic Information System. So this is a new tool I've been working on for a few months now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to present you the whole thing, uh, the current state and what it can do and what I want to do with it. But first I'm going to explain why it does exist. So initially it was created because um, nowadays EDSM is quite overloaded uh, most of the time and uh, our website deletedangerous.fr uses um, used EDSM uh, to fetch systems around a specific target specifically for the trial iteration tool. So I'm going to show you. So initially to populate uh, the solutions around uh, a specific point, I needed to uh, call EDSM, and so I would uh, fetch the list of systems around a specific point uh, up to a certain radius. And uh, this feature has become less and less available and due to the high load on the website uh, EDSM. So I started doing my own. Uh, um, yeah, database and service to provide this kind of information. And that's how EDGIS came up. So I'm going to show you a bit more about EDGIS today. Uh, so I try to keep the interface really, really um, appealing and uh, easy to use. It's, uh, I try to make it very responsive as well on mobile. Uh, yeah, but let's start with the desktop. So basically you can search data on the, the galaxy, uh, a bit like EDSM or Sponge, but uh, yeah, uh, think about EDSM first and yeah, we'll see for the rest. So let's try, uh, I don't know, um, Camadenu is uh, the input suggested here. And that's right, that's cool because I, I'm not able to type very, very well. So you can see there is a, a few suggestions here. So that's really neat. And then uh, you validate and you have a very simple result uh, first. So you can recognize some um, familiar uh, icons, which I have redone, uh, re recreated in SVG format and some other stuff. So we have basic information on the, the star and its position. And from here, you can uh, fetch the neighbors of that star you will have a list of systems. So it's quite fast. Uh, you can see the distance uh, from Camadenu of all these systems. Famous Peninson, Kalinero. You can copy some systems on clicking on, it, on them. You can copy the coordinates as well. So it put that in your clipboard. And then you, you can see the, the same buttons here. All right. And if I click on another uh, neighbor button, it will search, for instance, for Arapa. I can search the, the neighbors as well. Boom. So Arapa is the center, and then we have the all the neighbors of Arapa with a 30 light years radius, but we can increase that. It's quite fast as well. So here we had 171 systems, and now 800. So yeah. Uh, on the... The interface, the web interface, you will have only 100 results, but you can use the, the API to get uh, up to 100,000 systems, so if you need, but yeah, most of the time you might not. You can see the, the type of the, the stars world. So let's check Arapa. I haven't checked this one for that demo. So I can copy paste. I, I can see there are a few bunch uh, of the systems starting with Arapa. And now we can check the system map. All right. So this generates a map similar to what we have in game with a few differences. Don't pay too much attention to that. It's still work uh, in progress uh, graphically uh, at least. But um, yeah, most of the tools we have now don't really displays the, the belts and I wanted to check for some hidden stuff in the game within the belts and I wanted to know how many clusters there were so that's why I did that thing. We can see the star so again that panel is still a work in progress in terms of presentation of the data and uh, yeah 
uh, what I want to, to show here or not, it will basically provide the same info as in the game. And then you can zoom infinitely because it's SVG, it's everything is vector, vector graphics. Um, and um, you can also download that file. So that SVG is uh, shareable offline if you want. So that's really cool. You can search for other systems as well. We have Hudson Slave. You can see the Earth uh, health like bodies. They are, they are generated um, randomly with a seed uh, based on the ID64 of the the body. So each system will have different um, um, health flags. So for instance, QBO is different, right? And uh, it rotates based on the, the tilt of the planet. Uh, so a few things like that. Um, so yeah, this uh, is right now, uh, is like this right now. And uh, later on, uh, I will provide uh, an architect mode. I want to create a colony builder uh, system to do some theory crafting around colonization. And yeah, most of you might know already Raven Colonial. And uh, uh, in fact, I started that project, the system map, uh, before Raven Colonial was a thing. But uh, yeah, uh, the developer of Raven Colonial was quite fast and did an awesome job. So yeah, I'm a bit late. <laughs> But uh, it's okay. I think uh, it's fine to have more tools. So one of the future steps will uh, have to add the stations, uh, provide the architect mode, and uh, all the, the intelligence behind to to help you um, uh, do some theory on the colonization and plan your colonization. So yeah. All right. So let's go back. Then we have the galaxy map. So galaxy map is again based uh, on the, the game view. And I wanted to recreate something close to what we have in game. So this is a fork of uh, ED3D, which uh, is an amazing tool, but uh, I've started uh, developing it a bit further, adding some new uh, types of objects like spheres, uh, some customization with the menus to make it more like what we have in game. Some buttons, uh, same as in game, and a few more things. I want to enhance what we have in game, basically. Also, here we we can find the same types of uh, filters with, that we have in game, but there is an advanced mode. So I will add a button later on for that, but. You can go a bit further if you want to to have more granularity on the types of stars you want to filter out. So yeah, that's what some, something you can do. Also, you might want to check a bit, uh, yeah, some more stars. And then with that view, you can start seeing some interesting features in the galaxy, like that layer of brown stars which I think is really cool. And you can just increase the, the radius. It takes a bit of time to to, to fetch the stars sometimes, but uh, we are at 150 light years radius. So it's, it's a lot of stars, currently 25,000 stars, and it loads pretty fast. And here, the only thing which took a bit of time was to fetch the, the stars from the data database, but if I reload it's almost instantly. You can go up to 100,000 stars. So yeah, you can see a bunch of stuff. And then uh, from here, uh, you can select a star uh, and then go and check the system map as well. <coughs> so yeah, pretty neat. And I, I want them to work uh, together. So yeah. That's the, the idea. And I will add uh, more and more um, options to this view. So let me show you some more stuff I've been working on. You might have seen some posts on that thing. So you can have a map of um, 
what you uh, have done with your colonization efforts and see where your factions have been uh, has been and so yeah that's really cool you can so this is for for now a separate tool uh, in, on our Elite Dangerous uh, website, my colonization. But uh, yeah, this is uh, just an example of what the um, the fork of ED3D can do. And here is another example. I'm starting to add customization on the icons uh, of the systems. So yeah, I think it's pretty neat. You can um, define new icons and then it will help have some custom map maps. Uh, yeah for the colonization or something else, Thargoid War, whatever you want. So yeah, stuff like that. It's so just an example. All right, so let's go back to EDGs. Um, and then, so yeah, the neighbors, we have just checked that. Uh, there's a few ways to interact with the neighbors. You can uh, just type the name of the system and it will search within uh, 30 light years radius systems for you. Or you can just take some coordinates and put them here. And you can tweak the radius as well. Only 10 light years, 5, yeah, 53, whatever. You can show the ID64 if you need. But here I want to keep a um, simple interface for the basic user. You can also filter here. I think it's pretty cool. 285. Uh, I don't know if you want to, to see only the big stars. Uh, I don't know, the TY here. So I think it's uh, a cool feature here as well. So this is for the, the basic operations. Then we have advanced operations, and I will also put here maybe a, a developer version of that with JSON everywhere. But here you can have the explorer tools where you can fetch the bodies of a specific system. And you have a summarized view of the, the bodies. Uh, don't pay too much attention at, at uh, the result display of these tools for now because it's under revamping uh, right now it's not really pretty but it's just for the capacities of the thing so let's check this body uh, anitiman 1h and then we have a, a view of what's going on on that body so basically the same data that you can find on edsm or sponge except it's uh, hosted at uh, edgs then uh, you can also fetch the closest neutron star. It's also a work in progress. Uh, but yeah, well, this one is a kind of abuse, but it works everywhere in the galaxy and it might come in handy with uh, the Caspian ship later on. And you can also predict uh, the position of a system. This is based on EDTS library and uh, basically uh, you can guess the coordinates of a system based on its name and how it is constructed in the game with the uh, ID64. So yeah, let's check this one, 165, 155, 45. And if I take this, go back, let's say how close is it? Yeah, 156, 155, 451. So yeah, not that bad. All right, and um, what's left? Yeah, so that's it for the DDG's uh, tool. Uh, there's more to come. It's really young. I'm going to show you a few more bits. You have the API doc here, and uh, basically you can find all the endpoints, uh, fetch the neighbors. Uh, so you can see, let's try 0, 0, 0, 10. So the neighbors of Seoul, and you get the, 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 the JSON here. And you can also just fetch that kind of stuff right now, like that, and you get the, the JSON as well for all the developers. All right, let's go back to the API stuff. 
And then you can fetch the bodies, some coordinates, prediction of coordinates, nearest neutron stars, uh, with the name, the coordinates, some auto-completion of the names of the systems, and some statistics. So let's run this one, for instance. So right now, we have 170 million systems uh, in the, the database. And uh, yeah, so that's it. All right, so one last thing is the roadmap. All, those co all this code is uh, open source and uh, it's uh, hosted on GitHub. And uh, you can see the current work being uh, dealt here. And uh, yeah, feel free to add your suggestions and I will see what I can do. But uh, basically you can see me working here and uh, what is the top priority of the moment. So I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, that's EDGs. Feel free to, to give your feedback and suggest fancy quotes if you want. Uh, everything is, uh, yeah, funny quotes imaginated on the law of Elite Dangerous. So yeah, thanks for your attention. This is EDGs, Elite, Elite Dangerous Galactic Information System. Uh, I hope you enjoy and it's, yeah, it's a young tool, but uh, I think it, uh, yeah, it will be able to do cool things in the, in the near future. And I think that there's, there's already a, a bunch of cool stuff uh, being provided here. It's free. There's no ad and, um, yeah, it's uh, quite active. Thanks for your attention. 07 commanders.